Hi, and welcome to this week's web design video blog. James is out of the office today, so Sarah and I thought we'd share some great SEO advice for web designers. How many H1 tags you should use on each individual web page? Last week, SEO pinup Matt Cutts, who's head of the web spam team at Google, aired his first live video blog on YouTube. During his live video, Matt was taking questions via Twitter using the hashtag AskMatt. James posted our question. Hi Matt, how many H1 tags would you recommend having on each HTML page? Which Matt read out and answered during his live video. So here's what Matt said in response to our question. Uh, how many H1 tags would you recommend having on each, each, each HTML page? I like one, right? Thanks Matt. I mean you can do more and you can do divs. The thing that a lot of people ask about is, well what if I use divs and I have like gajillions of H1 tags? And the simple answer is then we might not give them quite as much weight, right? And that makes sense. If your entire page is one long H1 tag and it's just been restyled to look like regular text, don't expect that to get quite as much weight as if you've got one or a small number of H1 tags. So, you know, hopefully that's relatively reasonable. That doesn't surprise people too much. Thanks for watching this week's video. If you have any contributions or comments on Matt's advice, please don't hesitate to leave them on our supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.